Yo everyone, it's River here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video showing you basically my two current teams that I play with and mess around with online and in tournaments and things like that. And uh, let's get straight into it by uh, showing you my second team, which is this one, which is a Barclays Premiership team, and it's uh, not a amazingly like uh, all-rounded Drogba Rooney team. But it works well online because of the uh, the auto balance factor of the game, where uh, when you have good people, uh, your players don't might work to their full potential. But anyway, that's for another day for that that topic. But um, basically, I've already spoken about most of these players before. But I have to say, uh, one player that has to be picked up, in my opinion, is this guy up top at the striking position, Asamoa Gyan in form. I think he is a uh, amazing player, he's an amazing player should I say and uh, I think he's so underrated in this game and in form he doesn't get auto balance whatsoever and he is a real credit to my team and uh, David Silva also, my favourite player on this team is David Silva and um, I'm not sure if he's overrated or not, well a lot of people say he is overrated but in my opinion I think he is very good and he's left footed and if you have him on the right side of centre attack midfield I think Seriously, he does get a lot of goals, and he is, his dribbling is surprisingly good. I think it's 89, it says up there. But, uh, yeah, and it is amazing. So, uh, yeah, everyone else here, apart from Mika Richards, obviously, he's underrated. And uh, I think Sean Wright Phillips is underrated, because he's got 90 pace. He just smashes it down the wing. And uh, similar for yeah, Ashley Young. So, um, yeah, and I've got the uh, left-footed um, left-back, because I like to play the balls up the left side and uh, uh, near the uh, touchline and uh, it just confuses people online they expect you to go through the middle and if you play it up, up the side they get a bit confused and then you cut in up top uh, by the uh, box and uh, that's usually my little tactic but uh, anyway that's that team and I'm going to show you my uh, team what I call my 15k squad that's just basically a name so I can mislead people online so they actually play with me but um, again it's not an amazing team but um, it's a team that I wanted to try out, uh, not an amazing BBVA squad, but one with Messi up front. And if you have him in the right forward position, uh, it costs a little bit more, but you can have him as a striker. And I found this works a treat. It really is a lot better. And uh, although he, I, in past times I've had him, I found that he's weak and he's not, it doesn't work as well as he seems to be. He's 90 overall, doesn't usually fit his player on the, on the pitch. But um, to be honest, in striking position, I've only have I only have good words to say about him. He's only served me well online and whatever. But uh, seriously, yeah, uh, he's really good. And uh, just got the basic left and right forwards for the BBVA. No one special, but uh, they're both fast and they're both good dribblers. And uh, um, Di Maria, sorry, I forgot his name there. He's uh he scored a few goals for me. Uh, surprisingly, he scored a few goals for me uh, recently. Although he's got 77 shots. Yeah, and basically he isn't one of those players who stands out, and he isn't a 89 rated player. But to be honest, he is a really hard work player, and there's something about him that makes you really like him. Also, another person who's extremely underrated, and I believe everyone should try and test this guy out because you'll see exactly what I'm all about. And he wears some lovely yellow boots. Uh, is Afolai. And he's got higher shot than both Iniesta and Xavi, and higher pace than them both as well. And uh, he's only 78 rated, and to be honest, I believe he should be a lot higher than that. If not, like maybe 80, 82 maybe. Because, seriously, you'll know what I'm on about when you play with him. And he, his finesse shots go in a lot of the time. He's fast, he's good at dribbling, and he's an good overall player. And um, another person I like is uh, Xavi Alonso, although he's slow. He's uh, passing 89, and seriously, his passing is really, really good. If you just hold down the Y button, if you see someone making a run, he'll always slot it through. You just get it perfectly up there for Di Maria or um, Navas, and then they can just pass it into Messi, and he can work his magic. At the back, yes, I have a right back, Sergio Ramos, in the left back position, and that's basically because there isn't many le good left backs in the BBVA, and uh, Sergio Ramos is actually a tank, to be honest as is uh, Danny Alves and so I have Danny Alves on the right and I'm not, it's, it's a hard decision to have whether I should have uh, Danny Alves or Sergio Ramos on the left and right and whether I should switch them around 
but I've come to the decision of having uh, Danny Alves on the right because I prefer Danny Alves and having him on the, his preferred position will make him play better and I prefer him obviously so I have him there and uh, I think they're both amazing and Puyol surprisingly he's got 87 header in but he never ever gets to the headers he's 5 foot 10 he's jumping I don't know what the size is for his jumping but he never ever gets up the ball and he's a really good defender but he never gets the headers and that annoys me PK I believe is better than Puyol in this game he gets more headers he's better at jumping I think he's like 6 foot 4 something like that yep 6 foot 4 and to be honest I think he is really really underrated on this game although he is 85 and which is pretty high but he is really, really good. And uh, Ozil, the right centre mid. And in past teams I've had him, I haven't liked him too much. But on this team, I've actually liked him quite a lot. Because on the right centre mid, he does get those left-footed shots in. And he is quite a nippy little player. And he runs around and, yeah, he's, I think he's really good. But um, And then Valdez and Gar, I opted for the Valdez instead of Casillas. And... Mainly because Casillas, although he's a good, keep, good keeper, sorry, he um, for some reason he just doesn't seem to uh, how can I put this float my boat? Maybe I could put that like that. He uh, he's Valdez just seems to do it for me, <laughs> and I know that sounds wrong, but he just seems to do what I like him to do. And Casillas, although he has served me well in the past, as I've said for a few people, for some reason he just doesn't seem like he fits the bill. But um. Yeah, and then if you're wondering, my subs are just a load of random people from the BPL uh, who, uh, I don't know, I just put in there because they're from my other team and I just wanted to fill up the space. But yeah, anyway, this is the video that you've been asking for, me showing my teams, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like for the teams, and Messi's up front, man, Messi, and he's actually not crap. For the first time ever, I've had a team with Messi who isn't terrible, and uh, thank you for watching, everyone, and... I uh, appreciate everything and all the subscribers and everything and uh, if you wouldn't mind down downloading my toolbar which is in the description that would be really nice of you but it doesn't matter to me I don't really mind you can do it if you want to but uh, ultimately I just want you to watch the videos because I do this for the love not the fame I love everyone and I love how everyone replies to me and I love replying to comments I love coming online and seeing all the people I love seeing all your comments on the videos and all the likes and to be honest it makes my day it does it really does anyway sorry i'm rambling now thank you for watching everyone and i'll speak to you all soon